The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is involved. This, this time on New Clan! How many engaged people can we piss off again? The rest. <laughs> studio today, not, not our host, host but, but a guest host, Grinitol. Um, he was on Ultima. How's it going, folks? He's on New Clan, and uh, soon he'll be on the Godzilla podcast. Oh, really? No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be on now. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, Thanks for having me. Got a taste of our pre-game, pre-game action. Uh, I did. I did. Hey, he did, did look impressed. He looked very, <laughs> I was very uncomfortable. out of place. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll, we'll, we'll get you there. We've got about six hours to get you there. <laughs> you can leave at any time. <laughs> yeah. you, can, you can take my car that I'm letting you borrow for at any time. Um, you can. I'll give you my address. And you won't be able to get it because you don't have a key. But. Mm. but you'll be able to hang out in a shitty city for a couple hours. <laughs> oh, wow. Shitty city. Shitty city. Oh, my God. Wow. Shitty Cedar City. Shitty Cedar City? Yeah. Shitty Cedar City. Say that five times real fast. Shitty Cedar City, Shitty Cedar City, Shitty Cedar City, Shitty Cedar City, Shitty Cedar City. Oh, come on. Fuck it. My tongue is legendary. Cedar. He's right. He's right. He's got a great tongue. Yeah. It's it's strong. I think it's like many an ice cream. Many an ice cream. So, guys, today, we're going to talk about... Getting hot in here, yeah. Hopefully, we won't have to stop midway and have an orgy, but... Um, we're not sponsored by Blue Chew uh, yet. Uh, hopefully we yeah. do. Who's ready? Yeah, people were. Yeah, one of the comments actually. People were mad that or one of the engage guys was mad that we're not nude while we while we do the nude clan. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So I guess if you guys weren't on Twitter with us last week, uh, we did have a. I guess there was some small segment of the engage community that had a, had a community out there. They were all. They had. They had seen that. A4 had set the episode to be on premiere on YouTube, so I guess they must have had like a Google Alerts or something to let them know that mm-hmm. somewhere yeah. someone um, was talking about the end page. I, I did some snooping. Okay. And what happened was the dude that runs the Discord for the end gauge didn't listen to the episode like a fucking idiot, but just saw that it said hashtag Engage and retweeted it. Okay. Like an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So. Guys, let this be a lesson to you. If you don't know what something is, fucking watch it. Like, don't get pissed at us. Or one, you don't understand humor, and two, you're just, you're stupid. Why would you just retweet something? I mean, or just from a, from a thing called nude clan. You also, if you're gonna do it, it's not like you're guilty. That's the thing I never understand about people yeah. that think that way. They're like, they think that. It's bad to support. It's like if they think it's bad to give money to things to people that give do money do bad things with money. You know they feel like they need to stop. Like it's like the whole Chick Fil A thing, even though that was all a lie anyway. Uh, but it's like I don't support Chick Fil A because they use their money to do things I don't like. To me, it's like I just buy the best thing. That's why why do I go Chick Fil A? Because it's amazing. I was getting their breakfast, dude. My, my, that's, my, that's coworker, my coworker bought like us their breakfast sandwiches. Oh, holy fuck. Yeah, they're good. Their breakfast sandwiches. I know. Are good. It's, it's chicken, too. It's right. weird. So back to the Discord. No, no, no this is this yeah. what I'm saying. It's this, It connects. So it's. <laughs> they feel bad. And, and you shouldn't feel bad if you retweet something yeah. and people are like, whoa, these guys are like freaks. They're like homophobes. They're freaks. And, like transphobes and all this. You can be like, hey, 
I just retweeted it because it was Endgame. For the record, my lawyer, care. my lawyer wants me to say <laughs> I am not a phobe. Oh, yeah, yeah, no phobes here. <laughs> Yeah, like, I just, I just don't yeah, care. Yeah, one of his comments was like, well, if I would have known, I never would have done it. And it's like, Kate, that's, 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 that's where it ends. It's all you had to say. Yeah, be like, I don't support But then he sits some guy that his eyes can see two things at once in directions who plays the ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's a very I don't get it, dude. I, I watched it and it was very bizarre. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bash. I'll let Zach do it. <laughs> Zach's my yeah, dude, uh, also what I want to say is y'all y'all people, like the Ninja's people were getting mad at me for saying, I guess something racist that I didn't really say. Yeah, what they said was that we had said a, a racist uh, expletive or something like that. I don't remember the exact words they used. We made a racist, uh, we made racist. Because of the story. No, we said a specific word that was racist. Oh, I, I thought, thought it was Nagasaki. That's what I thought they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, that was a, that was a Million inappropriate things said on that episode because I had re I listened to it back and I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? And then I had to get back in it because I'm like, there were jokes about saying the n word, but no one ever said the n word on the show. Only one man has ever said it, and he's not here. <laughs> so. <laughs> I angry ass black dude said it in a review, and I did in fact quote word for word what angry ass black dude had. Oh yeah, yeah for Ultima. Well, yeah, for Ultima. This show, on this show, we kick people off for saying the N word. Yeah, they're not I mean, here. Two years, two years later, but uh, <laughs> no, it's no, better late than never to be woke. So I, uh, yeah, they. God, what were, okay, so they said we had said like a, a racist epithet. That's the word I was looking for. Oh, yeah. And I listened to the episode, I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? And I had to go back in there, and I, I, I was like, because earlier in the next day, I guess, because Schweiss had got on there and made some comments uh, with the thing, and our, our Twitter account got, uh, got um, hung up. Yeah, and then I got Elon to buy Twitter, and then I looked at it, I texted him. Yeah, like, Bro, as a fan of the show, can you please get rid of this guy? And then, and then suddenly I see they're not gonna let him buy it. So I was like, fine, I'll remove the tweet. And then suddenly he okay. buys it. I'm like, Elon. But the tweet was <laughs> Elon. Come on. But the tweet was, I hope you don't choke on your own genitals. Which one? Very courteous. Very courteous. We don't want you to choke on your own Which, genitals. By the way, not an abusive tweet in my mind. Like no. it's, very mild. It's a dick. Tweet, but it's not. It might not be. It depends on how he identifies. It's, it's still happening. Right? It's still happening. No, it's not. I'm going that to. It was a no, threat. It was a threat. You were saying I'm going to make you choke on your own genitals. Yeah. You say I hope you choke on your own genitals is not a threat. Yeah. yeah. He said, said very important. Yeah. Very important to see the, the the syntax of the sentence and exactly what the meaning is and the context. Yeah, I'm just worried. I mean, yeah. Seeing his ukulele videos, I'm like that guy's hung. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, well, so I got I got in it though. I couldn't figure out. I was like, what the hell? I said I went through that entire episode. Nothing was ever said that it was a, a racist uh, epithet. And then the guy, like two hours later, tweets back because he must have had to listen, re-listen to the episode. That was the thing. It was like, oh, what was it? Since someone said Negro, and it was your story about the Negro, like the what the people in the uh, England said about in England, the, in England, the people in England. Sorry, it was an accident. It was an accident. So, so are we not allowed to say Negro? What people? Oh, here's, here's, the here's the deal. <laughs> so, what what the racist couple that you had visited had said, like, you can't touch the food here because that's for the Negro elder. Which was a horrible thing to say, and we were all laughing our asses about it. Because it's about funny! It. It's awkward. It is very it is. awkward. But, like, real quick, sorry. One, Negro is black and Spanish, so one, Scottish bro, learn Spanish. <laughs> Two, I'm brown, you racist fucker! You yeah. can't tell me not to say a word! My people climb over a fence for this shit! So I don't want to... Fucking here! That's a true yeah. fact. My yeah. my grandparents on Tell my dad's side 
were illegal immigrants. Tell him, say, look, that is a true statement. If this man had to, his yeah. family had to climb the fence, those things would have shipped over my brain. father who was full Mexican is in prison, which makes me ascendant Mexican, because I'm hitting all of the spots. Oh. I'm ascendant. But here's the deal. Then we had to have an argument about whether or not Negro was an offensive word, and my point was, it doesn't matter if it's offensive to you, it is not offensive to most of the people in the United States. It's not something that you would say. say. Yeah. yeah, it's not something, yeah, like, if you say it, like, it was the proper thing to call black people the 60 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's not. Yeah. But if an old person says it, you just kind of roll your eyes. And that's it. It's that level of offensive. It's not so offensive to cancel a podcast. <laughs> no, not saying that. I am not saying that. We had separate sets of germs. So separate sets of germs. So I am not. No, do not put words in my mouth because it's very important that in the context of this that we don't put words in people's mouths in this in this conversation. Um. I, uh, so I just had to be like, look, he's fucking Scottish, and then his boyfriend or whatever was, uh, what the, oh, there's the ladybug from the other day. Just flew on to Schweiss's arm. Um, Hello. Uh, Would you like to be on the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be very quiet. Um, it's stuck in your arm here. Where, where was their boyfriend from? It was, uh... Germany or something? Wait, 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 it doesn't count. So I was like, oh, these people aren't even American. They're white. They're arguing that something is offensive and therefore not okay. Right. And I kind of was like, well, I don't, I personally do not, and I tried to have, I tried to have, like, an informed, nuanced argument on Twitter. Not great. Yeah, you can't do that on Twitter. Where I was just like, look, man, just because it's offensive doesn't mean someone should say it. And they disagreed with me on that. I'm like, okay, well, we'll agree to disagree. But then it was like, well, I was just saying that it was offensive. And I'm like, look, it says in the Wikipedia page that some people don't find it offensive at all. In fact, find it like, like, there's a whole thing. In fact, if you're in Mexico, you're saying the color black. That specific word for you Europeans out there that don't know the context of this shit, by the way, uh, that specific word is a very squirrely word. Like, sometimes it's offensive, and then sometimes it's considered, I guess, proper. Yeah. Most of the time it's not okay, really, to say in most contexts, but it doesn't mean that it has the same power as an actual ra racial epithet. So, yeah. no one said the N-word, no one said any words having to do with any other race that would have been considered very offensive. It's just, it's a weird word, but it's not, it's not what they were saying that it was. We, on the, on we did get word. railed for uh, making a racist uh, accent. Thank I just want to say an accurate, an accurate uh, accent. I, I do say I, I don't love that. <laughs> oh my god. This is the deal. Look, you can't be racist if if they're if they're the top of the power structure, I mean, Asians make more than white people in America. We no, no. can't technically, according to this guy's probably this okay, guy's okay. set of rules. According to the new racist rules, I can be, racism I can, is based on power. Exactly. Therefore, yeah. And the Asians have more money, which money really is power and freedom in America. It might not be in Scotland. They're also the majority. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So I don't want to hear it about the Asians. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to hear a word. Right. Anyway, I, anyway, I don't love it when yeah. these guys do the Asian voice. I really don't. I have sold them. I think you the started it. There's also I have done it. I'm not going to disagree that I have because like when we were doing like Japanese stuff and I was learning Japanese, like it's fun. It's like more easy to say something in Japanese. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so here one knows this. I also okay. It's a thing. Here's another. Like a Japanese game that has English text in it, usually it sounds like that. It's here's another, here's another philosophical debate. First off, these people aren't American, and so therefore, majority and minority, <laughs> majority and minority arguments don't actually apply there, because we don't all live in America, despite the fact people think that we all do, including the Scottish okay. guy. You wish. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's one thing. But also, is a language, is an accent a race? Is it a part of race? And I would say absolutely not. An accent is part of, like, nationality. It's not, like, if a white guy 
we'll say white people, right? If a white guy was born and raised in Japan... He does! There's a video! There's a video! The Japanese bear is one! Guess who would have a Japanese accent? The white guy. The white guy. Have you ever have you seen that, that reel on Instagram? I, there's just like, there's like, I don't know what, what Asian and like ethnicity he is, but he's like very, because he's, he's like doing a thing where like he, he speaks an American accent. And he's like, there has to be one person in the world that's white that lives in like Japan. I see everybody in Japan or China. Because it lives out there that has that accent. And the dude totally does. Yeah, he would. And it's like, it was, I was Why like, wouldn't you? Because he was like, he was like, someone has to have it. And he was like, very dead. Center. It's not, I don't know. It's, it's more. Xenophobic than racist. It's just like, yeah, yeah, it's no, that's just semantics. <laughs> I think it's an important distinction. No, because it's German, not German, no, but it's triggering to certain members of the audience. They only really make fun of one third. German, of the Germans are only are only a minority during World War II, and that's it. <laughs> that's the only time Germans can be considered a minority that that people bully. Yeah, yeah. because they're German. Specifically, including my uh, my great grandmother, by the way. That was a oh, oh, for fuck's sake. Somebody just said there was an echo and static, and it's because I had the fucking camera. Yeah, I'm camera. listening to the Twitch stream. It's coming from the camera mic, not the... Uh, the sound, sound is coming from within know. the room twice. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. We're having uh, sound difficulties on the... Thanks, Reborn. We're also screaming, so it's probably even worse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, we can only make fun of one-third anyway. of the Axis. Only the Germans. You cannot make fun of the Italians, or you cannot make you fun of the Japanese. You can definitely make fun of the yeah. Italians. Yeah, Italians are easy to make fun <laughs> of. Look, they make fun of themselves, okay? Yeah. They're considered white. Yeah. Now. They're good. No, everyone will be white eventually. See, yeah. it, everyone has to pay their dues. This is how it works in America. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You come here, everybody <laughs> hates you, and then the next group, you fight in a war with us, and then we don't hate you anymore. That's kind of how it works, honestly. It literally <laughs> is. The the Italians and Germans, fucking everybody hated them when they came here. We fought World War One. we're bros now. <laughs> World War Two, same the thing. Irish. The Nazis and the Mafia. The Nazis and the Mafia came here, everybody I mean, I, hated them. <laughs> I, we fight like, in Afghanistan. Irish, like, super... Like, For the record, uh, I still don't like Nazis. Against the, like, the, yeah, the, Irish, the Irish were extremely persecuted again. Now, any anyone that has like organized crime in the East Coast, Anybody that wasn't Anglo-Saxon. Yeah, it was persecuted. But you got to pay your dues. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying that's the rules. You pay your dues. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, so dues? look, oh, here's it. Here it is. Here it is. The Hispanics paid their dues with Iraq War. Uh, in Afghanistan, <laughs> now we hate the Middle Eastern people. <laughs> now, once they no, gotta, pay their we, dues, we gotta change it up. we'll hate China, like we always should have. But, uh, no, I, it's kind of <laughs> true, fact, though. now it's illegal to hate Muslim people. It's kind of true, though. We go through these phases when we get a wave of, like, immigrants from a certain area, and uh, there's a lot of anti-immigration sentiment. And then we, like, something brings everybody together, and then we're cool. Uh, like, Irish, German, same thing. Everybody hated the Irish. That's why there's organized crime. Organize, uh, that's why the Irish Mafia is a thing. It's because they needed to band together to protect the fucking Irish people that were getting picked on, which today sounds ridiculous because they're just Irish people. But, you know, 100 years ago, yeah, they fucking didn't like them. Also, an important aspect, which I have said many times, is that like, the cure to racism is everybody fuck each other. Yeah. yeah. You just become a different shade of brown. That's and, what it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm just doing my part. <laughs> I'm doing out. my part, too. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think the cure to it, oh. honestly, is to just leave people alone. And the hard thing is, is like, you should be able to not associate with people you don't want to. And that's a hard thing for some people. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, we were we were called by people who had only r listened to many segments of the episode. I believe someone we were called pedophilic because of the uh, that was me because of the. <laughs> uh, that was me. Because of the uh, description because of, of the episode. Like, I'm just saying, it was it just a bleeds, description. It, breeds. Yeah. it was the description of the episode. <laughs> yeah. and the Technically, God, there was I put like, that, I we put made, that we made fun of pedophilia. Yeah, we made fun of pedophiles. We were that in the making. It was a joke, and these people fucking ran we with it. We were making fun of pedophiles in that section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is the internet. People will run with pretty much literally any information you give them, even if it's subcontextual. <sighs> yeah. yeah, that's the, well, that's the problem the truth. with the internet now. The problem with the internet now is like all discourse has basically just been filtered down to you're calling everybody either a Nazi or a pedophile. There is no fucking gray area anymore. The and problem just, is, one of the people. If someone disagrees with you, they're a Nazi or they're a pedophile. And then I've End just. 
question. I just figure, why not be both? I mean, if we're already guilty, <laughs> oh, fuck. I'll just no, do both. No, no. <laughs> do you see what no. happens? Do you see no. what happens? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I say fucked up shit, but I don't do. No, that's my line. I also that's, feel like no, no one was on there. None that. of these fucking engaged people. When I was like rolling my eyes and like not being okay with like what was being said during like during. Well, segments, that's because they couldn't no watch the stream like, through their engage. Dude, uh, they couldn't get it. <laughs> they couldn't watch the screen. It's too it. pixelated. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, come on, not everybody on the show was doing that. You fucks. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny that Choice said that though, because I brought not this I brought this up the other agree. night when me and Zach were playing Halo 4 and someone said, like, you gotta own it. And I'm like, I am owning it. I am both. I'm the world's first Nazi pedophile. I'm oh, a sleeper agent for both teams. God. <laughs> What I they also don't yeah no sarcastic jokes yeah. allowed ever I which know. is yeah. weird There's because no the British fucking, humor like, is anymore. all dry everything has to be taken sarcasm. at face value it's but he's fucking Scottish. ridiculous yeah that's still okay he's he still just part doesn't of know he's, he, he just doesn't not. know he's British and that's the weird thing is one of the they, 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 you know like the dude got mad and said we we're pedophiles and it's like but you're from Britain you're the king of pedophiles <laughs> like I don't well you, that you, you really. made your age of consent sixteen you fucking weirdos like. W- Gross. Uh, age of consent in many states is 60. That's disgusting. Wasn't the age of consent for like a long time over in the Eastern countries like 10? Yeah. Oh, ew. Look, 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 look. I don't know. Here's the story. I don't know ew. my history. <laughs> Here's how the story goes down. The That's Greeks gross. invented pedophilia. And then, like, white people stole rock music from the blacks and improved upon it. The French stole pedophilia from the Greeks. And then Japan stole pedophilia from the French and perfected it. Simple. Well, well, that guy that listened to the episode, though, he didn't listen to my... I said the only cure for pedophilia is a shotgun shell. And I feel like yeah. they would have just well, listened I'm to sure that one I'm sure at that point line. they were just hearing what they wanted it to hear. Been, well, yeah. that was the thing. It was like, I was getting mad because they were cherry-picking shit. I was like, come on. You're like... It was... Made in jest in sarcasm. No one said a racial epithet, not a real one. Yeah. Uh, and I was just like, yeah. picking details. What the fuck yeah. was wrong with these people? And that, yeah, the the engaged community person was just like trying yeah. to save their asses. But like, I'm sorry, putting this out. Uh, all these and guys. And then they're are, like, This is my. All these guys are it. big pieces of shit. Fuck you. And like, yeah, but I mean, for like, us, dick. But here's the <laughs> thing. The only good thing is there's like five people in that community. Yeah, so like, say, there's also um, five of us here today. Like I'm not going to so take and brag that we get like a lot of views because we don't. But like no, that no. episode itself does not have a lot more views than we normally get. So <laughs> for all the attention that they supposedly brought upon that episode, uh, it didn't really get yeah. big numbers. My anyway. my other thing. So numbers. one one of my other things with that is when they were like, "You just took the Wikipedia page and you didn't do any research." That was the research. <laughs> Everything we gave you was accurate. Just because you know, you're upset that we said factual evidence doesn't make yeah. it wrong. The Look, one comp- it's, all, it's not our fault that the only like the only information about it's the so engage that ever existed it's was so the Wikipedia page. And look, I I admit I feel really bad. And after that episode, Whoa. I felt bad. I've never heard you because say that I before. forgot to mention that they canceled a foosball game. For the end gauge. And I was like, that sounds awesome. Like, foosball? Are you fucking kidding me? And I forgot to mention it. It was like in the list of canceled uh, like, end gauge games. I think, I, here's the thing, too. I think the most, I regret important, it. the most important thing to think with like the end gauge community you can like the end gauge. We're not stopping you from liking it. Us making fun of it shouldn't stop you from liking it, nor should it make you feel stupid or bad for having one. Everyone's open to their own Yeah, opinion. just like it. If you dude. guys want to be stands like for a it. console that was dead on arrival, you go right the fuck ahead. We don't yeah. care. Yeah, you I, basically you're playing an abortion, but it's fine. But we and the rest of the world have forgotten <laughs> oh, about you, and God. that's okay. Speaking of pedophilia. <laughs> God! <laughs> yeah. Too old. <laughs> Too old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, like, guys, the, the engaged community who's not listening to this, I know none of you are, unless one of you's a closet fan now, which welcome. probably. Welcome, thank, you. thank you. The thing is, well, that was the best all of us have all stupid the, shit the, we like, and it's fine. That, that was the best part about all the comments we were getting on YouTube is just me and Schweiss would just log in and be like, "Thanks for enjoying the show." <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have done that on Twitter too. I really do. Yeah, <laughs> I regret that. I was like, "This is that, that's like the weak. easiest way to like diffuse that entire." Thing is oh, it's it's like, sh- you guys are racist and sexist. Hey, thanks for enjoying the show. <laughs> Glad you found us. Yeah. And they did. They just stopped. They don't know what to say to Also, I, I typed in Nude Clan on YouTube again. We got to find out a way <laughs> to not just have nude shit show up. <laughs> we got to find a way to not be called Nude Clan. <laughs> is really so the problem. Bad. 
work. We have. I'm yeah. just like, I'm at work, and I'm like, oh shit, titties, and I'm like trying to like get out of my YouTube. I've done that too. Oh, you've seen that? We talked about this like a year it's ago. Gone. That w- it's gone. Oh, the it's native chick. It was a lie. The, the girl is not in the video, and sorry. she has perfect tits in that <laughs> no, picture. No. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm watching this, and then she's not in there. I know. I looked. There's, there's an episode called "We All Clicked on the guys. Link." You guys can uh, check that uh, old episode. Dude, oh, no, she's amazing. Guys, I know, dude. I was I like, perfect, where'd you go? I was just sitting there, and like my mouth was like, we just, we just have to change the name of the show to the Engage Sucks podcast. Oh, uh, welcome to Engage. Engage shit. sucks. Dude, how many weeks can we pull that shit off? Can we just do it for the whole. No, month? we're not even gonna make it one, dude. Let's, we're not even gonna make it one. Here's the thing: we're not because they're, they're gonna be watching. Holy fuck! Wait. They're like the shittiest defenders. Wait, wait, wait! Wasn't what? there like fifty something Engage games? What if we did an entire season of? Nude Clan, a whole year, <laughs> <laughs> or each week we reviewed an engaged game. You know, what's <laughs> up? you know what's fucked up about this whole situation? We don't have to beat them. We just have to play a little bit to like get frustrated. I had, <laughs> I had a here. dream. I had a dream like last week. That I got an end gauge and all the games with it, and then I woke up and I was like, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You wake up in a cold sweat, and your Corey's like, "Are you okay?" And you're like, <sighs> "I need the <to> taco." <sighs> <laughs> the I dreamt now. I had an engage and it just slipped through my fingers. <laughs> Fifty-eight. I'm and not. There are Fifty-two I'm not, weeks in a year. We'll do it that. in alphabetical order. So, Alien Front port for the engage plan, but never released. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, looks like Ashen. So, pick up an engage by the game Ashen. I have never seen an engage game in the wild, by the way, ever. Yeah, I it. have. I, I have one. I have a kid. You? Like, oh, okay. Yeah, with the demo. I don't think thing. I've even seen an engaged game in the wild when the system was on sale. Well, I had over in uh, East Coast in Virginia where there's a uh, local game store called uh, Gaming Heaven. They had like a four pack of games. Two were golf. One was like Tetris. Oh, is that, that where games go and die? They go to heaven. So that's because of the engaged. <laughs> <laughs> engaged died. But the engaged went to there. hell. What are you <laughs> talking about? But the games went to heaven. The games were good. It's kids were good. It was just a evil but like bastard. as well like I was, so I was like I was looking at some of these losers that weren't commenting. Sorry if you're listening to the podcast. Um, you're not, not a loser if you're listening. Exactly. To the yeah. There you go. But so unless you're one of those guys, do they did some like like they're like so that, like like they're doing some kind of cool stuff with the engage like it's like like the fans like yeah they put Wordle on like, there. they're putting games on there they're like yeah they're like putting like new codes and stuff like it's pretty sweet. And like I think that's why a lot of them got mad was because they were like offended. Because uh, they've sunk their life into this, and like, I just <laughs> and we were making fun of it. Yeah, well, it's well, a sunk cost is, fallacy. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the number one thing I'm I'm I wasn't happy with, and and, and Zach brought it up today earlier, and I brought it up yesterday, was twice. Yeah, where the complete and utter lie, where the guy posted, um, they were making fun of the engage community. We weren't. We, we will never now. fucking said anything about. We didn't the know there community. was an engaged. Yeah, community. like, like yeah. in all seriousness, we didn't know there was fans. I really didn't. Yeah, <laughs> and that sounds kind of bad, but they like were making fun of the community. When you like, look what? at when you look at the numbers and see how bad it failed, you you would think it'd be done because like I don't have like I don't know people that still play their Game Boy Advance SP. Statistically, <laughs> like, you, like you I have people one. In the but engaged I don't community do not exist. We're just saying. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you're like the men in black, but shitty. Uh, <laughs> Is that what they put up in front of your face? They just click a button the on engage. the engage? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, so like, for the record, this isn't an apology. No. We're just... There's nothing to apologize just, for. Of war. I, so I was picking up my girlfriend from the, the, tra- like the, the front runner and like the day all this went down and just reading comments because it was like our date night and I was just, I was dying, dude. She's like, what am I? I'm like, I was like, I gotta stop real quick. I need to read this. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, making it. <laughs> We're making it, babe. <laughs> yeah. They think they're gonna destroy us, oh, but really they're funny. gonna radicalize their own. Sir, fans. giving the engage community back their bomb, and then <laughs> they just drop the letter N on them. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing finishing this fight? <laughs> so yeah, um, that was a fun Twitter fight. I actually quit Twitter. Uh, <laughs> uh, you fuckers did it. You, you should finally not because did it. of that, but <laughs> it was partly because of that i would say it's not because of this specific event but my willingness to go in there and feel like i had to defend myself yeah and i had to defend zach <laughs> which <laughs> i didn't realize that was what happened i, I thought it was something else so i'm like i'm just I, yeah i had no idea i thought it was i, I thought it was slave name on the podcast i thought it was when 
when A4 bleeped himself yeah, as me a too. joke. Me too. I thought that that was what it was, and but no, it was. And so I just had to be on there, and I'm like, why am I wasting my time doing this? I know, yeah. And it's like I hadn't even checked Twitter for months. Like I would just be occasionally tagged and stuff. Like a lot of Godzilla podcast fans are on Twitter, which is awesome, and they only only positive things for the Godzilla community, by the way. Uh, and uh, and I was just like, okay, well. I'm not even using this shit. Um, I'm, you know, I'm on Instagram a lot more often. I just rather use Instagram. That's what I'm on more often to use Instagram. So I, I, I was just like, and you know what, Twitter with their like, and now that Elon Musk has it, hopefully this changes. But with uh, with Twitter and it's like news feature has always pissed me off. And like the trending thing has always pissed me off. Like it oh, just, it's always biased. It's it's always it's always horrible. Yeah, and Joe's a liberal specifically to get rid of the and, trending yeah, thing yeah. Look, on desktop. And Joe's a liberal. And I'm, I'm, I'm a quote unquote liberal. And according to this, yeah. according so to this let podcast, me, let me tell you, and I hate it. Let so, me tell you the the problem with the trending. The day that the president of the U.S. like tripped up the stairs of Air Force One, <laughs> really sad to watch. I, I laughed. Kind of funny, but also it like uh, he's just way too old to be doing watching this. old people fall is hilarious. Like, you honestly. know what was trending in politics? Something completely unrelated. It's totally biased. Like it's it's all just it's crap. Like that's the thing everyone's talking about. The president almost ate shit. Well, he yeah, ate shit and twice just, like, on I, the way up the stairs. I feel like it's not actually. It's not trending. And if you click on them, sometimes it's like there's like forty people talking about this. Why the fuck is this on the? No, side it's it's now? like it's literally a propaganda I, arm. Like I, every is, Sunday yeah. for every Sunday for a while, they would be like Batwoman is trending on Twitter, and it's like, like come literally on. no one is watching this Twitter. fucking show, and now it's finally canceled. No. But it's like yeah, I, yeah, I can every time, and it also was always bad news it's too. Bad. So I'd be yeah, it was, I'd, I'd be there, and I would just get like and make you engage exactly. with the app. I would get I would get angry about it, and I'm just like, this is fucking, this is just a waste of my life like i want to shut down all my social media yeah but twitter is now number two shut down i shut down my myspace I, many I years ago i think you're really <laughs> like, you, you quit the fight so real quick one of the things i was just thinking about is i i would go through and like these people are commenting i'd, I'd look at their 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 twitter Honestly, for ammo. <laughs> but oh, like, oh, there was a part. Oh, but. but real quick, yeah, so I was like, I'm like, they, they probably looked at all of ours, and if they looked at mine, I hope they enjoyed the show. Yeah, because it is nothing but porn. Because <laughs> that's all I use Twitter for. I know. So <laughs> that's why I didn't follow you. So I know. That's exactly so, why I followed so you. So I'm like, I hope they got there. And they just didn't know what to do. <laughs> like they were just like, uh, 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 and I'm like, well, ah, my my ah, favorite ah, thing ah, is ah, like, ah. all they had to do was like click one link to realize I was one of the hosts of the show. Because what I initially started out doing was pretending to agree with them on the end gauge stuff. I was like, Nude Clan needs to go down. Like I was just saying all these things. Like we need to cancel Nude Clan and like retweeting people, and I would get likes from them. Dude, like they had oh, no the fucking idea. Happened. Oh yeah, yeah. it swear. was fucking beautiful, dude. I, they I had... swear there was another time where like some guy was calling out the show, and you were like, oh. you replied to him, and you're like. Yeah, this podcast sucks. These guys are racist. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. There was that. There was the time when um the 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 woman I made fun of, and I still feel bad about this on another Final Fantasy podcast. That, yeah, I yeah, mentioned yeah, that, yeah, yeah. and I was going in the comments like someone was bringing up other podcasts. Someone brought up Ultima Final Fantasy from our thing, and I'm like, no, Ultima Final Fantasy sucks. <laughs> and like, uh, like all it would take is someone to just like click and look at my shit and be like, no, this guy hosts it, but no one ever does. <laughs> Yeah. No one ever well, the thing is, it's the, the, the mob Nobody. mentality. They see you agreeing, and they're yeah, like, like, "Yeah, oh, he's jumping on." But then some people were defending who had never like, "How could you know that?" I. <laughs> they make you feel good. How could you know that? Never listening to the show, and I'm like, he has no idea that what she had originally commented about was my show. <laughs> people were commenting and trying to defend the show because I was attacking the show out of context. Does that make you feel a little good, though? <laughs> it makes you feel a little good. Not really. So, yeah, because they're defending it's you. It's people fighting over nothing. They don't yeah. know what they're fighting That's over. Okay. Okay. So it's, it's the rage of Twitter, and like I fucking I think, and you know what? I feel like I feel better since I've left Twitter. I don't miss it. Like, yeah, honestly, like there is, I, I there's a few days months. on my date. Like I mostly just browse through when I'm at work because I'm bored. But like on the days, you have a lot of tits on yours too. Why are you on, doing like, it at work? Or drawing and shit. Like I feel way better. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I might. Yeah. I will probably shut down all social media. Um, 
I just want to have it up for voting on the polls. Yeah, I want to have my vote. Yeah, so we, we need to... It, it's, it's, the like, Twitter it's, poll a, it's a necessary is way... evil. I think we need to start considering social media like in the same category as other vices like cigarettes or booze. Like It should have like mm -hmm. a hard age limit. Like No one under 18 should be on social media. I think that's bad for you. And everything good in moderation, but like I think there are yeah. certain points where like like drinking or smoking it's like yeah you if you do this too much you're gonna fuck yourself up and i think we're starting to come to the ramifications of that i, I totally as more agree. and more people are just getting yeah. completely fucking especially deranged. the younger girls too it's like the way they get at each other it this is like perfect for that like for us yeah. it's like for me anyway joe's not very violent but for me it's like when it's time you just fight it out and then you're done you know like oh, by the time, I find it out. Yeah, verbally, I was already like in senior year of high school. But it's like, I think we're way. now just starting to see what happens when an entire generation grows up on I, social media. Well, yeah, I mean, I had my beginning. I had MySpace pretty young on, and I just remember like when you're like a young teenage boy, you are such a fucking creep. <gasps> when he was a young <laughs> ward, huh? And, and, <laughs> And it can, it, it really like it. It underlines like your ability to creep on girls because I remember oh, yeah. that's what I did on MySpace, dude, all the time. Like I it, believe it. And I think about that. I'm like, I really should not have been doing what I was doing then. And like, it's yeah. just like a platform where you could just do that. And also, you're seeing like everybody else looking better or other people having more friends and followers than you, and you feel shitty about yeah. it. Like you feel like you're not popular, even though like. Your time maybe like mine was like I had lots of friends and my time my daytime was filled with people. Right, but you but I that get on and social like, no, media yeah, and it's yeah. like, well, I only have like, you know, 150 <laughs> followers and like, well, this this other person has like 400. Mm -hmm. And for some I, reason, like that really bothered me back then. It bothers like, a lot of people. I think it, I think it's that element ages. of like comparing agree, yourself yeah, to I other people. But and I forget what podcast I heard this on, but someone was basically like, I don't think like we're social creatures, but I don't think. The human mind was meant to take in this much information. No, you're right. Yeah, no, it's not. It's like not. it's way. It's just it's complete sensory overload on social media. And the hard thing is, you can be, you can be informed. You can know a lot of things, but still know nothing. Like you can have a lot of little factoids you tell in your John mind. Snow. But it's like <laughs> if you, you, there are experts in certain areas. And they know everything. So, like, when you when you make a dumb, like, blithe comment about, like, whatever, there's someone out there that's like, oh, they should know, or I know this because I've studied this for years. We all think we know all, stu all the stuff, like, we've studied it for years, but we don't. Mm -hmm. Everyone's a genius in their own mind. Exactly. We, we know what we know, and we don't know what we don't know. So yeah. when we, we think we understand certain things, and we, like, espouse to understand them, and it's not that we're being malicious. No. We just have heard a few things, and we're like, well, they're probably telling the truth. But they're not always telling the truth. But it's also the like, everybody online right now is pretty much ninety percent most likely a liar because nobody has any information to contextualize what they're saying. Yeah, mm -hmm. and yeah. then you get people that are like, "Do your own research." That's the thing I hate the most. Oh my god. Well, every it's everyone like, wants no, to sound you want me to do smart. your everyone research. Everyone wants to sound like they have everything figured out. That's why like yeah. people on the far left like just go with whatever the media tells them, and people on the right come up with conspiracy theories or whatnot. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's about right. Uh, <laughs> and then you get you get into like confirmation bias and it just gets worse and worse and worse as time yeah. goes on. That's why we keep Joe around. Yeah. Keep things in check. <laughs> Try to balance out the show. A little oh. bit. <laughs> it's like a four to one. And Zach's like a Zach's like a middle ground weird anarchist. Me just being here day one listening to this. I, feel, oh I, just, I just hate the government, okay? My girlfriend thinks I keep saying I, that I'm a liberal. I mean, so here's I the, well, here's the deal. Because one like, time I said, I mean, like, I don't I'm think probably homeless still people considered should a liberal. It's just that within She's the like, past yeah, decade, liberal. the like, goalposts have mean. completely fucking moved. So now I'm more conservative than ever. I knew you were a liberal. You fucking liar. You're not a libertarian. Get out. <laughs> like, I'm not. I'm not libertarian <laughs> either. Like, I, I'm just middle because they're liars. Too. I, I know. I know. Like at the end of the day, uh, man. I, I, I. Well, how do I? How do I phrase this? I, I grew up. I I, th I I I think it's honestly like the it's the Mormon thing again. But my my entire thing, and Mormon this is, is it's a, hardly anything to do with politics, right here. Yeah, you're good. Um, I grew up in this like crazy religious thing mm -hmm. that was very religious. Mm -hmm. But my extended family, who my parents are still in contact with, there's no like shunning of people. Like they're all still family, mm -hmm. and so like there's a mix there. Like some people who grow up in in a more specific, this is what I know is Mormon. No, I I can verify what you saying. It's like they they like they they kick out or like don't talk to people when they stop mm -hmm. being Mormon. Yep. And like that was not what I had. I also had like friends when I was a little kid who weren't Mormon, and it was just like 
I don't know. I didn't, and I didn't feel like it mattered. And I think it was taught to me by my parents that it didn't matter what someone's beliefs are. You can still yeah. be friends with them. And like, as long as you just like, don't talk about the thing, or if you do talk about that thing, like be cordial. Yeah. Um, yeah. and so, yeah, be I have, have manners. I'm, I'm on the, I'm left of center, but I believe in having conservative friends. Yeah. And, no. and obviously, I, don't know. You I know a fuck, <laughs> I have met a lot of people Wait, you have conservative friends? who don't know, <laughs> who say, don't know that I'm on the left. Really? Because you're not that far. N- I, I'm not that far left, but I, yeah, but I feel like I'm definitely <laughs> a centrist. But there's yeah. there's um, a yeah. I it, they will say something like about like liberal people, and it's just like, oh my god, you're a fucking like moron. Oh, can you? Like, they'll they'll they'll. And what I mean by they're a fucking moron, I'm not talking about their beliefs, whatever. I'm talking about their inability to socialize with people who don't believe the exact same thing they do. It's mm-hmm. great to do that. I like I like having yeah. our little debates, Joe. <laughs> Especially because at the end it usually turns into Especially neither of us really uh, care about it. Chains and their lunk <laughs> alarms. Yeah, uh, those are my yeah. favorites. No, but like it's good to have people that you don't mm. agree with. I will always regret that I missed that argument. I know you, you, you been, really did I, this one of the I, greatest I, fucking episodes that of the was show. Great I think. Because I would have been on your side. Like fuck. Them. I was. I didn't think it was great. I was mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's like a complete threat. Like, <laughs> dude, you keep really pissing me off. I should probably be over there choke you to death. <laughs> like, we're gonna fight, right? Yeah, that's one of the things. <laughs> he's not Cameron. He's not gonna punch you in the face. No, it's okay. If you guys would have started fighting, I would have set off the lunk alarm and given you free pizza. So. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I really needed you. that. <laughs> yeah. Pizza man shows up. That's no, what thanks, we should buddy. do for our Blue Chew sponsorship. You guys should take Blue Chew and then have a boner fight, like oh, Star Wars. God. <laughs> no, a boner fight. <laughs> How do you win? <laughs> First one it's to like hide the motor wins. Last one to like come wins. You guys get on a fucking balance beam over like water, and then you. <laughs> <laughs> like, First one to bleed. Jokes loses. on you. My <laughs> dick's not long enough to hit the water. No, you're hitting each other's dicks. It's, it's like oh. it's just interesting to me. So like the social media thing is like an echo chamber, and like <laughs> maybe like wherever you live in the United States, it's pretty divided. Like if you live out in the country, you're probably conservative. If you live mm. in the city, you're probably liberal. And you get into those phases that's not only bolstered by the people, or like by social media, but also the people around you mm-hmm. physically. Yeah. Like you're gonna occasionally find someone who's on the opposite side of the aisle, and, and I you winch them. And it's d- that, yeah. And, and like, <laughs> you know, you you just feel like everybody agrees with you, and like, who are these like strangers? Yeah, yeah it's that. that well, thing. it's because like pe- humans are so, are like supposed to like. I, they they group up. What you we're do supposed is like, to be that way. Yeah, yeah, we're like very. I can't. Think I of have to explain to people. I moved to L.A. and had to defend conservatives all the time, and now I move back and have to defend people from L.A. all the time. It's not necessarily you know, liberalism. You but mean I have to defend? We do, we do group up. I have to from defend and we and it's like, You gained a second opinion, so now you have to defend the yeah. third opinion. Well, yeah, it, it's <laughs> like well, I just have to play <laughs> devil's <laughs> advocate now because I I know these people. I've made friends with all these people. Right. Yeah, and I'm like, you guys are so. You guys are so wrong. That's what I'm telling you. You know what you know, and you don't know what you don't know. So So you assume human beings. We group up and we tribalize, but like I think the internet and social media has made it exponentially worse. It keeps you inside. uh, It keeps you inside, and I feel like very apt thing that sort of like everybody should move. (laughs) Predicted it like 20 years ago. (laughs) Everybody Uh, should move to the opposite. You should not get that tattoo right. Sorry, because yesterday was April 30th, which is the day of the Big Shell incident. Metal Gear Solid 2 fucking predicted all this shit 20 years ago. Yeah. So. I, uh, that speech about like everyone receding into their own little cesspools of like confirmation bias and shit on the I'm internet. I'm sure there's probably an episode of The Simpsons about this too. I think yeah. I think everybody should just <laughs> move to the opposite of wherever they grew up. Oh, and whatever yeah. they think. Specifically, I, I like to play. You want to know about more of the West? Just like, move over here. If, yeah. 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 I like to play devil's advocate a lot. Everywhere. But so, Joe, when you said you think that. I like think. people should like intermix, right? Like like, like race wise. Oh yeah, so I think everyone, I think the cure to racism is everybody there, should fuck. Um, there's a comedian that I was watching that reminded me like when you said that because he was saying something like he's like yeah if you're a ginger, like Pacey White you should have to you have to you have to get with the most black person from Africa you've ever met. He's like, and the more you go, he's I'm a like, pretty big fan of uh, he's like Laputa Nyong'o. I think she's pretty attractive. Yeah, she I'll is. Her, I'll yeah. give you that. She's pretty dark. But so there, he's like, yeah, like the more you go, and he's like, and if you're like half and half, well, you get to choose. <laughs> uh, Laputa Nyong'o won a, I think she was either nominated She's in Black or, Panther or too, won right? an Oscar for uh, 12 Years a Slave. Is uh, she the queen or the... She is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah. She's Laputa? Cute. 
Liputa Nyango. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, but Le I think you Puta. are. She's Kenyan. Le Mexican. Puta. You're gonna get some Spanish shit with that one, dude. Nyango. Meanwhile, something we were talking about oh, off hey, the look. show. I think Skin Diamond is mixed race, but uh, I can't Di- be too sure. Skin Diamond's pretty hot. So yeah, I have no problem with this. <laughs> yeah, she's all right. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I accept. Okay. <laughs> Come on over. I accept. Yeah, yeah. I'll accept you for my friend Joe. <sighs> <laughs> I'll break her in for you, Joe. Uh, I feel like Schweiss would have. <laughs> Please don't. I feel like Schweiss would have like PTSD from like when he lived in the South and like got beat up on the bus for being the only white kid. <laughs> oh yeah, no, she totally. She would open the door and he'd totally be like, uh, he's like fall on the, the ground. Skin Diamond totally is mixed. Her dad's uh, black and her mom's like Czech. Okay. <laughs> Checkmate. What happens if they don't accept checks? Uh, <laughs> then, uh, they go I will say one time courtesy. <laughs> I've seen like a handful of Czechoslovakian films. Uh, they have beat out Latin American television for like always having the hottest fucking actresses. Like really? Czechoslovakian really? films, for some reason. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god, guys! <laughs> you have like no fucking idea no. how hot uh, the yeah, movie stars in Czechoslovakia. I mean, I'm, I'm Czechoslovakian on my mom's yeah, side, so looking. that would explain why I'm so attractive. But you know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that explains <laughs> it. She's fantastic. Finally, we fight. We discover the truth. A <laughs> force <laughs> Czechoslovakia. Uh, yeah, I just I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like you know what you know, and you don't know what you don't know. And it's like you know how hard it was for me to be on that film set with the arms master. I was like. Dude, Twice. I like could barely contain myself. I was like, "This is ridiculous." Like, I understand. Oh yeah, we had a gun in the film, and but we I was had, like, we hired a guy to be the gun master. Oh, I and, you and, and, okay, look, because you didn't like, want an Alec Baldwin like, incident. I that's what they kept saying, and I'm like, exactly. you know why you call it the Alec Baldwin thing? Because it never happens. Except for with Alec Baldwin. That's why he's the thing. It's not like, well, no, what about uh, this guy? Of course, it's always the thing. When somebody okay. creates an incident, it oh you become God. that yeah, incident Yeah, but you know now. how many fucking hundreds no of thousands of films? films? I can think right. of something no like that happening. was um, you've never heard of to be <laughs> called <laughs> thing. Brandon Lee also died yeah, from a Yeah, 40 years ago. Yeah. yeah. 40 years ago? <laughs> he's like, yeah. Then his dad died from an ago. Look, look. All I'm saying is they checked it. Okay, they would do a scene where he was chasing us through the house with the rifle. And then they would check it again. Yeah. And I made a joke of like, this isn't one of those auto loading uh, rifles. Yeah, you don't want a dud bullet in the chamber. That's a very you bad idea. And he said no, like seriously. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's the best okay. way. Wait, do you think okay. those exist? That's the best way to shut Schweiss down. He that- just says, I'm just so stupid. And he, short- <laughs> he short circuits. He's like, <laughs> I'm okay. supposed to be all right. <laughs> First off, you can't do that. He was a pro. We I didn't understand. have good guns there. Those were perfectly good guns for the movie. I understand. Uh, yeah, we did it to make the actors feel safe. But that's everybody. The crazy part. Everybody on the set would have probably been okay with it. I wasn't sure about Noah and Monica, and yeah. so I would just just to be sure, just to make sure that they were safe, just to be sure that. My actors didn't quit on me because we were not safe with our crew. You bet your fucking ass I'm going to get that shit. How much did it cost for you to get that guy? Uh, $500. I would have checked your gun for 250 <laughs> It was so, it was not. Yeah, he's a master. It was not only for the guns, but also him. So that was all $500. That seems pretty cheap. It's not that bad. Again, I would have given I you an I could have bought the gun, gun <laughs> and loaned it to you without bullets. And that's the thing. Like, I. It's, but that's the thing. They but don't he also know. had he also had good information about dealing with the cops. We would have just like done that all in secret. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, and, but mean. he was like he called. He's like, okay, this is what you do. You call them up. You say we're shooting here. As long as you're on private land, it's okay. If you're on public land, it, like okay, so this is your parents' house. That's fine. If you're on public land, however, we have to have a fire marshal here, and because of fire, like all the ways to do this legally. Yeah. He was a resource for that. I get that. I get that. It's the checking it every time, as if like. Noah running through the house grabbed a fucking cartridge and slammed that motherfucker into the chamber. Yeah. Well, like this isn't how it, it also works. Like it was the it was the moving shot thing. The thing with Brandon Lee is that that wasn't even a bullet that went. I know off. it yeah, wasn't. It, it was, was a, a cartridge of a blank. So and it, was, it got shot out by the air pressure. So I understand. It, was, it I don't think it was the cartridge. It was that there was like a piece of something, just something in the chamber. Yeah. And when the blank went off, it it it, ex- it expels air came. still, and it yeah. shot him with the whatever piece. Yeah, that was. whatever it was. And so it's like. And since the Alec Baldwin incident happened a month before we started chewing, it was like, 
Yeah, it's a big fucking deal. You want people to feel like they will be safe at our. Yeah. I feel like the yeah. only the only difference between you guys and Alec Baldwin though is Alec Baldwin's got the fastest hands in the West, and he's killed somebody. You know how ba- <laughs> yeah, how, how awful would you feel? <laughs> I like I, you get up to heaven and you're like I was killed by Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Of all the human beings in the world to die by, Alec Baldwin was pretty so low like, on the list of like my, potential. My big issue with that too is like he was like pointing him like straight to the director. Well, he's himself. being a crazy person. Yeah, yeah. like he wasn't. He's a no nuts gu- person. I mean, it's crazy. Didn't he's kind of insane. Of like, I haven't he's looked gotten away from that scenario. I haven't like, looked. Yeah. He's like yeah. hiding. Oh. Yeah, like he doesn't want to. Like, apparently, he's like I was reading things where it's just like his mental health is like. Shh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no like, shit. Well, yeah, which I'm not saying it's a. Obviously, I just want to know if like he's found a way to like. Go back to acting in any capacity. I don't think he has. I think he's, he's nobody just, tell him that Elon Musk uh, bought Twitter. I think he's gonna insane. be gone for about five years. Yeah, and then he's gonna come back, and then someone else is gonna die, and it's gonna be the Alec <laughs> yeah. Baldwin oh. Hollywood curse. He's gonna come back and accidentally shoot Tina Fey on the set uh, of the Thirty Rock reboot. I don't know. Probably like, never be in a movie ever. A again bunch of fucked up. So there's too. usually I, about. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure he never had such as anything with a gun anymore. Nope. I guarantee it. There's usually about once a year some heinous shit happens on a film set. Yeah, because you're always running and gunning with those film sets, so it's like you want to, you know, even if it's not necessary, it's just like just do it because you don't want to be that one fucking film set where right. some shit happens. Right. But this is what I'm saying. Like it's it's like it's like using an example of a crashed plane to not fly, even though statistically speaking, flying is safer than driving. When something goes wrong in the plane, you're gonna die. No, but that's why they have all the safety tests and everything. Right. They go fucking crazy the with that of shit. But I'm saying that Schweiss has here. Like I, I can just picture Schweiss on the set being like, ah, fuck, this is stupid. And then like it just cuts to a news thing where it's just like Caleb Schweiss. Local was racist down on a boy film set today. shot in the face. It's just a picture Leaving of me behind with two, 17 children. It's me with like two AKs on my hip, just like <laughs> mouth open, bullets flying. Fuck this. <laughs> no, the, like it's that idea, but you I'm saying you guys are the ones that won't fly because you saw a plane go down. It's not logical in any way shape or form. No, we These are things... the we are the uh airline and we are doing extra safety checks because an airline ju- uh, an airplane just went down because they didn't do enough safety checks. I don't know. I, I, I totally think disagree. It's, I think it's with a spaceship. Like the, the reason why the Challenger went down was because of an O-ring wasn't tested enough. Yeah, there was like yeah some an O-ring little, little thing. Was it really an O-ring? Yeah, yeah. an oh, O-ring was that. not tested for low temperatures, and that's what. And caused then it the last one, it was like mm-hmm. a debris and like part of the fan was breaking off, and they saw it, but they didn't cancel the launch, and then it blew them up. Yeah, Those idiots. that's what happens when you don't have a fucking asshole. Yeah, it happens when you don't guy. have a we don't have an arms guy there <laughs> checking the gun every time. Look. I, and I, 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 I can see your point of view where it's like, yeah, it's, it's because there are people cause... that don't normally deal with guns because they normally live in a city where you don't but have guns. But I don't know these actors well enough to do that. But that's what I'm saying. If, they they were, if it was know. a group of my friends and we knew none of us was yeah, a heinous I know. psychopath. You know why? Yeah. We, we totally fucking were in a park with fake totally... blood all over me and I had a real nine millimeter in yeah, my hand. I know. Yeah, I know you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I w- know you wouldn't shoot anybody. I know we know the gun's not loaded. I know no one had the opportunity yeah, to I'm put a bullet in there. I'm but still, yeah. in that context, what the fuck was that for? <laughs> what? The- it was a short we never actually finished. Yeah. It was, oh god. It was called, uh, the edit wasn't working, speed. and I just fucking gave it. Gave it it's called speed. It. It's actually still a pretty good idea. Yeah, it's funny. I, uh, I'm like so caffeinated that I, uh, I think I can was- dodge a bullet, and I get the other guy to shoot me. He's like, just shoot me. I'm going to dodge it. I could dodge it, man. Can I can we, see it. Can we, no, we redo it. I'm it was, it was a short call for Newly, too. This time it's for real. Yeah. And then it was going to be me, like, on the ground. And then, like, there's going to be a trail of blood leading away. <laughs> and then we'll see him, like, st- like just crawl up a building like a yeah. freak in the background. <laughs> Yeah, it was gonna be hilarious. It was gonna so be a, a great short. Of speed, but I was there 23 were twenty three, and there were a lot Spider-Man? of people that did not <laughs> know what was going on, and I had like fake blood everywhere, and we were holding it a real gun. It looks real, too. and like it was good. Yeah, but there were people like, oh, "Are you guys okay?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, we're just doing a little movie thing." So we we're did just it. Doing a movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you guys definitely did it more right than we were doing. Uh, we were in a public park. But well. I mean, the difference is like on 13th Cross, everybody knew each other, and we also had no money for that thing. But the person who was playing, the person who was holding the gun, was a police officer at some point. Oh, really? So it was like, okay, we'll do this. <laughs> well, it's a good thing you didn't have any brown people well, on the set, and he would have actually shot him. We had. <laughs> yeah. he's, um, uh, he's like, he's just like, his hands are shaking. What's wrong? Him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> who, who are you talking Nine about? 90. 90. Or 50. 50. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. My old days are coming back. Good cops follow orders. <laughs> um, so, what do you guys been playing this month? <laughs> so 
I almost feel like we should just like do that as the next episode. Yeah, we agree. Cut, yeah, cut yeah, after probably. dark, basically. This is basically after uh, dark. Yeah, I mean the the end gauge. I did it. I did it mean for my jokes first. at the beginning to like go into to this, be the, con- the but I enjoyed this episode. <laughs> yeah. No, but that's another thing. It, she don't know what you don't know. You don't know that guns. They don't know anything about guns. These I assume. So you should basically no. Yeah, everyone should. I be able could to walk not and have assume that, that, that they would be okay with. You know nothing. You could always yeah. ask. I, always. Yeah. It's Schrodinger's nothing. firearm yeah. safety. Yeah. Yeah. But then they might feel colleges. pressured. I know nothing. <laughs> yeah. That's Here's what you do. You ask them to have sex with you, and to, the, if you're okay no. with guns. No. So no. They say no to so, the sex. Okay. Imagine. So through <laughs> through my point of view, if I ask them, the Jedi are evil. If I ask them, would you guys be okay if we had? Sorry. Would you guys be okay <laughs> if we just decided to use one real guns and we're not going to have a safety person there, but just know that this is a low budget shoot and, you know, we're like, that sounds so fucking mm. for in many reasons. One, <coughs> it seems like I don't give a shit about their safety. That's one. Number two is like, it sounds super unprofessional. The whole shoot sounds unprofessional. And that immediately puts it that the fear in their mind is like, this is going to be a train wreck. There's like, there's a whole bunch of reasons. Yeah. To, not, to not fucking put an actor in a situation, even like, yeah, I can ask them. I think, like, if I got to know Noah beforehand for a lot longer of a time, and let's say Monica didn't have to be there that night, maybe. Does that make your job far more difficult when you're doing those directing bits where you have to tell people exactly every safety bit you have to tell them? Because every time there's always an inflection that you don't have all the knowledge or, like, you just don't have the budget for it, that they may potentially tank their role because they don't feel safe? I don't want them to... I don't want them to feel... They need to feel... The actor needs to feel like they can perform and they're in a safe place emotionally and physically. That is my job as the director is to ensure that they feel that way. Right. That is my number one job is to get a performance out of them. That's... Like so the context of the like what you just recreated was like going there and say, I don't have the budget to put this guy to do all the testing for us. That would makes never him not feel... That, I mean, honestly, I would be like... That would make him not feel safe. Now, there is a stunt in the movie, and I t- specifically told Noah, I like he was like, should I jump over this fence? It was when you guys were driving off. And I go, I cannot tell you to jump over that fence. I jumped the fence. You jumped the fence, sure. I He's, fell You don't give a shit about you. That's uh, true. It's like... <laughs> No, but he jumped it without touching any of the rails. Yeah, that's what I did too. It was like a legitimate jump over. It was kind of scary. You, you literally parkoured the fence. No, I didn't touch it. No, no, I know. I guess yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You parkoured the. You fence. You could also so, parkour by touching. So there it. was like yeah, there's like a four foot fence, and I'm like the last thing I want is for this guy to tumble <laughs> like hit his like his foot hits the top of the fence and then yeah. he like tumbles over. It, oh, that's cracks the fear his of skull every person open, who does parkour in free and, and here's the deal. It's a film set. It's not a parkour uh, fun time uh, no, set. Place, no, yeah. <laughs> no, fun time. Set. Uh, we people are being paid. This thing is being taxed. Like everything here is like <laughs> like all the the, That's the my above fence. board all <laughs> across the, the board. The the I's board are being board. dotted, T's are being crossed in this yeah. thing. And I'm like, I don't think you should do it. If you do it, though, I'm not gonna say. Like I had to do that kind of language. It's like. 100% legally, I did not tell you to jump this fence, nor do I think you should. But if you do, I'm not going to stop you. That's the kind of language I had to use. Did he the, jump the yeah. fence? Yeah, he jumped the It was he wanted to do it. Oh, so okay. he wanted to do it. He wanted to jump the fence. Yeah, I did that like my first three And takes. I told him, it is not my, uh, I'm not taking responsibility for you jumping that fence. So yeah. I did not tell you to jump that fence. I did it my first three takes, and then I was like, okay, that last one was close. Like, <laughs> I, I, I felt my foot brush the bottom of it. I'm like, I'm going to eat shit if oh, I do this again. Which would have been a funny movie part. Like, I honestly. don't even think he had it on film is the problem. I like, know oh. they're like fucking hopping fences and shit. And no, yeah. That's, like, that's just like... Not even there. I don't know. That's I'm, why we have the gun safety guy. Yeah. That's I why. I, I did think there was like... There's definitely a part of me that was like, oh, my God, can we just hurry up? Can we not have to do... Like, obviously, the guy didn't put a bullet back in the chamber. Like, I felt the same way, but it didn't... You know what? We hired him to do this. Let him do his job. Yeah. I know. I feel glad that he actually He was also a, a very good... He was he had a very good yeah. attitude about the, the whole thing. He understood the context. He was uh, seemed to be appreciative that we were allowing him to do his job because he had been on sets where they had been, like... Where they had, like, just hired him to, like satisfy one other person and they would like and they didn't listen to him at all and he was really not happy about that so 
he appreciated the fact that we like let him do his job the right way that he's supposed to do it. And it's like, well, yeah, yeah, I do yeah. think that. Yeah, I think it's all. I don't know. I think it's all important. Where did we? When did we start talking? That's about like this? that's like make work. <laughs> that's like that you and your you liberals and your make work programs. I swear to God, <laughs> y'all deviate <laughs> from every subject <laughs> as fast as a revolver goes through. <laughs> Speaking of guns, it's the yeah. charm of the show. Speaking of guns, let's talk about like building roads. Like, come on, <laughs> no, just fucking, I don't know. Just make it work for your buddies who can't act, can't sing, but they can, they can not make sure a gun's not loaded. I'm just kidding. It's fine. I, anyway, that that is how I felt at the time, though. I was like, this seems like a weird job that they just made. Like, oh, my son, he can't act, he can't direct. He knows how to unload a gun. Let's just do a weapons master. There you go. Go on and go check the stuff. Like that's what it feels like. It feels made up, but whatever. He was also a guy <coughs> you could rent a gun from. That is true. Yeah, he had weapons, so, so like, that's kind of cool. Yeah. So and not everybody has. You guns, get both. You, you know? have the guns, and you also have the safety guy that goes with the guns. Because I don't it's have like a, a rifle. package. So you have like a you have a like fucking old school I got a muzzle loader black powder rifle and I also have a 9 millimeter like carbine f- is that what it's called a carbine yeah, yeah like a fold up uh, more modern looking gun yeah it's pretty cool yeah, yeah. that would have been more for home defense than the rifle I uh actually. yeah I wasn't sure uh I was like if we couldn't get a gun guy that was got to be what I I would do is oh. get my gun but we got a gun guy so we didn't have to do it so we had a fake gun and then one real rifle yeah your gun would have been more for self de- home defense, though. I don't like think that gun. the character in the movie would have had a gun that new. Probably not. You're right. It would have been an old hunting rifle. Yeah. So that fit. So uh, that was uh, yeah. We had that discussion before the movie. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's all part of a thing. Yeah. yeah it's well, all right. Uh, I mean, and if it's if if it's peace of mind for a few people, I guess whatever. For if the most important it. people. <laughs> yeah, the two most important people yeah. that you know the least. Yeah, and but uh, if it's uh, us, we're raw dogging, man. It's uh, there's we're raw dogging. There's yeah, bullets. exactly. Condoms off, man. There's bullets in the clip. Just don't cock it. Yeah. Shoot. No, I would actually not do that. <laughs> I think that would be really dumb. Can you really dodge it? <laughs> no. All the that, that is no. You just see yeah, Joe's face, know. and it's like that. Just like I could the dodge, vein, just and he's the like vein trying to dodge it. I could dodge it if you miss. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he's a liberal. How many shots can he actually hit? Oh, okay. uh, uh, just kidding. I, he's, <laughs> uh, last time we shot, Joe was a better shot than me. Oh yeah, but with my own gun. Caleb Craig's a freak, by the way. Yeah, I don't it's know like, how. I don't know what the like he, because he's blind in one eye. I feel like the other eye with the two D plane. It's not the three D that's like fucking him up like most people do. You got the one 2D plane, and you just line up that sight, and it's just like, that's it. He probably goes shooting a lot more than us, though, too. I don't think so, honestly. Maybe not, though. I feel like I go shooting just as much as he does. I like, don't do Once it every, at like, all. couple years. Yeah, oh, that's about right, <laughs> yeah. then, yeah. That's about I've right. never been. Really? Gotta go shooting. Well, let's take you to a bank. Let's go hike 10 miles and then shoot guns. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, Crane, I didn't know that. You never shot a gun, no. ever? No. Oh. What the fuck? Really? Even I've shot a gun. I'm I'm a I'm a wimp. No. It's not about being a wimp or not. It's Wait, where are you from, Kren? Virginia Beach. Oh, okay. I was like didn't make sure you weren't from Detroit or anything like that. Like where you where <laughs> you only... need a gun daily. They have uh, guns in Virginia. No, but I come from a massive military town where every oh. person I've ever lived with probably owns a gun, but I'm so disinterested with guns I've never had a reason to It's oh, it's fun. fun. It's fun. I prom- like, yeah. like I promise, there's no one who's the, ever shot. I've been given like, like a small man. bit of gun safety, and I'm like, I was an idiot because I didn't really care about it. And it's like, right. I, w- I was yelled at. I mean, I like, at here's the thing: the, <laughs> the funnest part about going shooting yeah. is the <laughs> bank teller's face when you tell them to put the money in the uh, back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> yeah, dude, they're afraid, and you can taste the fear. Yeah. Zach, you just given robbing 101. <laughs> it's yeah. it's the true elixir of youth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, there's something about target practice that's just like, mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know, you just like, it's almost meditative. Yeah, it and as long like, as you're not a dumbass cop in Utah and you light the mountain on fire while you're shooting targets. Really? Okay. That thing? happened like last year or two years ago. Uh, that the poli- what did you do? There was a, there a firecracker? Was, well, no, there's the police range and like when he shot like the, 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 the casing was still hot and it hit some like dead grass and it lit it on fire. Yeah, there's certain areas you can't yeah. uh, in the middle of the like, summer. Because like, yeah. Yeah, should probably not be shooting next to. There's glass. also things like <laughs> yeah. you should not shoot glass, which a lot of people do because no, the glass heats fun. up and it it'll 
it'll it'll start firing. Yeah. It particleizes. Well, one, it would probably one shoot back towards your direction once you fire at it. No, the odds <laughs> of that are like tiny. Well, dude, the in in in. Well, I mean, the shooting ranges that are indoors, they they like kind of funnel in. So, like, if it does bounce, it bounces more towards the back. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you could ricochet off of anything. Yes. Don't it, say that a- before we <laughs> take. <laughs> yeah. Except for rocks and glass and stuff. So you could be even more disinterested in going to yeah, try Yeah, that was the problem. There None of our weapons bounce. They're, they're all powerful enough to just penetrate. Like, even my fat forty five is like, it'll blow through the stuff. It doesn't yeah. bounce off. I'm more of a bladesmith kind of person. I've never We really did that last a, time, too. We had a sword. Yeah, we had a sword <laughs> at the gun, at the not really gun range, but it's just like the place where everybody shoots up the canyon. Yeah, yeah. Um, Unofficial, official gun. Um, I think the one, if you guys do end up taking Kryn, the one across the lake just opened up recently because it was closed because they were like redoing the parking lot and stuff. Oh, is there like an actual range range over there? Yeah, oh, or okay. Utah Lake. Across Utah we Lake. We like yeah. to not pay for ranges. Oh, I don't think I don't think it <laughs> costs. What's the, what's the price of like? going there and doing that? Not the much. cost of ammo, which is kind of a lot right now, That's especially. I have lots of rounds though. I don't know about you. I Your don't. Not I would have though, to huh? buy it, so it's like fifty bucks. <laughs> I think Gunny's just got a re- like a recent shipment in two of ammo. So nice. Yeah. This is the uh, go get your gun podcast. No, yeah. I don't know. Sponsored, oh, no. Sponsored by Gunny's. Right. Uh, go get your ammo. My God, I wish I fucking wish I could play the Duke Nukem Sting on here without us getting copyright struck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, uh, fuck the Engage community or that specific one. Yeah. By the way. <laughs> You sure it's yeah, stop. Put down uh, the, the ukulele. Pick up a fucking AR-15. All right? I am. <laughs> Maybe you, uh, grow some hair on that. Welcome to America. <laughs> I am also off of Twitter, but you can find me on Instagram at Joseph uh, Goyer. You can find me on Twitter if you like porn, and on Instagram as B Grixis. I don't know what my Instagram title is, but uh, I'm on Discord with the Nude Clan guys. If you find them, you find me at Crinital. And you, you, you like answer a lot of stuff too, and you talk a lot in the community. Yeah, so I like Crinital is very, very in. So you should know Crinital. Like I know a list of thousand in. things I shouldn't know, and I will respond with a thousand things I shouldn't <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, you can find the Discord link in the description of the episode, by the way. If Schweiss actually puts a description in the fucking episode. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what it is uh, with the new Libsyn. I said wrote, nicely. I wrote some real <laughs> classy ones, like for the... For the uh, Uncharted movie, it was like a fun, punny ass one. And then you're like, "Where's the description, fuckface?" <laughs> and I'm like, "What are you talking about?" I want to confirm that it's exactly what Joe said yeah. <laughs> in the so chat. Was and he's like, "Listen, fuckface, where is it?" And we were like, "Joe, where's Joe?" <laughs> and then I yeah, go. Joe in. is in the Joe is in the group chat, and he's like, "Where's the description, you fuck?" Ah, that quality <laughs> button. That quality, quality button. Love that button, A4. Love that button. It was honestly very triggering to have Joe act that way. Yeah. I, I can only imagine what he's like as a director. And I went back to Lips and I'm like, yeah, where the fuck is it? It's gone. And so I made like a half-assed one oh, after. Oh, like, Joe is a director? Yeah, when Joe's directing, he's like, you can't jump over that fence, you fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Taco. Why is it that long? Like, why? Why is it this long? <laughs> All the all the epithets. Yeah. Just just put all the slurs in there, all of them. Well, yeah, you can't use just one. He, he basically created it's like, a, like pr- it's like a Pringle. Like you can't he, he took all the epithets and he combined them together to create like the supercalifragilisticexpialidocious of slurs. Oh, I was hoping oh, you nice. were gonna like at the end beep that out. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Be. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I will bleep out the middle of Arnold Schwarzenegger's name. So. Jesus Christ! Why we're covering our ass? <laughs> Yeah. Um, before we get too far away from it, you can also find me on Twitter at A4 Extreme and also on Instagram at A4 Extreme. So yeah, do we want to do the vote now? Yeah, let's do the vote now. What's the vote? Okay, Probably so I found I found some old ones. Um, this one was from <laughs> Reathemus. Good Lord, how 2019? 2019? It's only 2022. Yeah, that's Listen, nothing. there was a global pandemic that we got shut down for, so I don't want to hear it. Yeah, in 2019. Yeah, and also a couple hosts left and uh, <laughs> fucking... Yeah. Well, the people he wanted the game for was Cameron and Caleb Craig. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that means it's done. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. Uh, what game is it? So there's five on this list. Uh, One of them... I mean, I'm like Cameron. I drink a lot, and I am snarky, and Zach can probably say dude, so... Dude! There you go. Dude. He can probably say dude like a fat guy. Uh, probably can. <laughs> Fucking <Dude>. glitch. <laughs> <laughs> so the 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 five picks 
are Xenogears, Shin Megami Tensei 3 oh, Nocturne. Oh, wow. My my thing, I think we should make Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne our last review of the podcast and then end it. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. Just keep I, them waiting I, the, I, I, for the record, <laughs> when we said we were going to play it, I bought it for PlayStation 2. I have Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne at my house. Didn't I it bought it. Steam I think it should be the meme. Yeah, it's re released. Yeah, I think it should all be the these fuckers? RPGs. That's okay. Let's play yes, PC, they then. all are. I don't want to have to rehook up my PlayStation. <laughs> no, we said no RPGs, bro. <laughs> okay, this guy. Okay, his picks. Reathmus, get back with us and add some non RPGs in there, buddy. I think you're right. We did say we can't because we 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 just don't have time. There's one that from was A4. literally the whole reason that Cameron and Craig like left, right? Uh, part of it. Yeah, I would say that's definitely the the seed that grew into a fucking tree. The forest fucking entries. Asshole tree. <laughs> An asshole tree. Yeah. I Wait, mean, what are A four's game picks? Maybe just way too competi- competitive in the past. That's all it was. Uh, A four's picks. If we want to do his, well, that'd be kind of weird. That'd um, be really weird. Yeah. Honey Pop, the we world do owe it. The world ends with you. We've already reviewed Honey Pop on this channel. Klonoa Door to Pantomile. Phantomile. Which is getting re released on the Switch in June. So No More Heroes. Bayonetta, already done that. Sonic Adventure, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Odin Sphere, oh, Leaf Racer, Yakuza Kiwami, and Eternal Darkness. What was the name of that game, A4, that you uh it was it was a dirty game on Steam, but it's not fully done yet. <gasps> Subverse! Subverse! I was bitching about that today. I want to yeah, play Subverse. that so bad. Because uh, it's good. It was a fun game. I mean, a lot, of, the, a so lot of those fun. games are in early access and aren't oh, okay. done. Like, it's there's House so Party, fun. there's Subverse. A4, Subverse is sick. A4 is a person who supported us on, on, uh, on this for a long time. Who do you want to review... These Are games. we actually? We should give it this. I'm on the fucking show. Just give it. Do, do you not want to do it? If you don't want to do it, well, we can. Okay. You can always say no. And I kind of feel like let's. We should revisit the A4 stuff just because he is a, is a host. I think that's a good idea. All right. And this is also something we should have yeah, talked d- about before. Yeah, give, give, do the pick someone else's forced entry. I'm on the show. It kind of it's kind of a moot point at this point. I never s- expected you guys to fulfill that by now. Uh, Zach and Schweiss is what he says here. On so this is Austin Bracken. This is A Brack. Um, Sorry, I, I said your name. <laughs> so he has a first one that's old that he wanted uh, Schweiss and Cameron to do. Um, how do we want to do these? Do we want to uh, all do them? We em? have to argue out. I think I think of the four hosts, we should each pick one for you guys to do out of his ten. Does that make sense? But who does it? I think he was talking about who reviews it, but I mean, like, I guess it might depend on the game. Like, if I'm not picked, obviously, because I wasn't on the show. Yes, I wasn't either. But if I want to play the game, I'll review it. (laughs) So he asked for, no, but after that, he says Schweiss and Zach. But that's for a different list. Oh, that's for a different list? Yeah. Oh, he just wanted specifically Cameron's response to these games. Well, how many did he put in that list? In the other one, it's four. Well, we can't just do four. We have to do ten. So, this one he has eight. Tell you what. Well, he gave. Let's say we, he has twelve nomination. Let's let's go. Let's fucking go through these. All right, Abrac. So we're gonna count these as all combined. And since we told you you could have two, you could do another one later. Uh, so he has. He says, okay, this is for Schweiss and Cameron. I have trouble deciding between two themed lists, so I'm just gonna give you both. Y'all can pick one list, full or mix and match, I guess. So dust off the switch list. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. We already reviewed we that reviewed on the that show. One. Fire Emblem Three Houses. We reviewed, we reviewed that, that on the one show. too. I love Super that Mario game. Odyssey. Didn't we do that too? No, we did Super Mario. I don't think you guys did. We, no. did, we, did the, we did the new Super Mario one. We didn't do Odyssey. Oh, okay. We did 3D World. Yeah. yeah. So Super Mario Odyssey, Pokemon Sword slash Shield. We reviewed. No, we did, that. we did review that one too. Yep. Okay. So Super Mario Odyssey is the only one qualified. 999, nine, nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. The original game is on DS. It was released on PS4 and PC. In zero yeah, it's escape. under a collection called like the Nonary Games because there's like three different games. Phoenix, Phoenix Wright, Ace Phoenix, Attorney, Phoenix Wright, Phallus wow. Wright, uh, that's right. Dangan, Dangan Ropa, Rompa. Trigger Happy Dangan Havoc, Rompa, yeah. Dangan Ropa, AI, The Somnium Files. Those are the picks. A lot of visual novels. Uh, there's more, right? Oh yeah, you're, that's you're, right. You're we gonna, gonna combine ours too. Yeah, just combine it, and it's it's a. Uh, Oh, he said, since y'all just reviewed Pokemon, replace that option on the Switch list with Luigi's Mansion 3. Ah, oh, I'm playing with my girlfriend right now. <laughs> we can totally Ooh. do that. So Danger Up by Trigger Happy Havoc, uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Oh, those are all there, except okay. for... 
No, those are all the same. So what do you guys want to nominate from that list? Okay. Except for you, Grindel. Okay. Yeah, I know. I'm out of this list. I'm sorry. You don't have to. <sighs> Luigi's Mansion really? 3. I, I nominate Luigi's Mansion 3. So this is okay. for Schweiss and Zach. I feel like we can do probably ah, two polls because fucker. we can probably do me and A4 on a separate poll. I mean, yeah, then choose I another. I, I know most. Or I we think like I own games. or know That's most of these games. I wouldn't mind playing these oh. games to review. Yeah. So you want to? You want a forced entry too? Is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I we've never done an Ace Attorney game, so I'll I'll never nominate Ace Attorney. I would love to watch that. All right, you got your Twitter ready, Zach? I'm not, uh, I'm not doing the Twitter. I'm doing it online, so we know what it is. So, because don't we want to do these later, like when the episode releases, and then put the poll up on? Like, Just make one the day? poll for seven days. Um, I say we make it for like you a can week. Do it on the new. I don't know how to do it on the things. So you have to do it on the new con. But I'm writing down what we want. So Luigi's Mansion three, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go. AI. I'm gonna go to bed for Danganronpa. Okay, Danganronpa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I can only do yep. so fast. It's the first one. And Danganronpa. Ron Danganronpa. Danganronpa. I believe that's Japanese for Truth Bullet, uh, which well. is very. I've, I've played that game, so that would thematically fit. Yes. Um, is that the one with the teddy bear that's black and white? Yeah, it's an anime. Yeah, yeah. It's so the wait, teddy bear with the black and white. Yeah. Are these for like all of us to play, or like what's the plan? No, it's for you and Schweiss. Okay, that's who we nominated. Okay. A four, you gotta choose a game. Or no, he already did. What are you choosing? I'm looking. It's a lot of visual novels, and then Mario Odyssey also. <laughs> I know Mario Odyssey is great. Isn't that the one on the Wii? That's the one on the Switch. Oh, we already own that, don't we? I thought we did. What's I, the one with the magic hat? Yeah, it's the one with the magic hat. I'm think I I but what's the other one then? I don't know. I own Mario that Galaxy is probably maybe what you're thinking of on the Wii. That would be easy. Mario Galaxy is a really famous one that so 3D World is not talked about. We played right? 3D World. What is we it? we reviewed 3D That's, World. That's yeah. um I don't remember. Like, anyway, do I want to buy a year. new game or do I want to play? Who did somebody own uh, Mario? Was it Craig? I think Craig might own Mario. Bro, I don't know. <laughs> somebody, I played it for like a just, couple hours. Just choose a game. Just choose Dude, a game. they literally like at Walmart. You can buy like a Switch Pro controller that comes with a free download of Mario Galaxy or Odyssey. Uh, I'm gonna go AI the Somnium Files. That sounds like a cheap game. Uh, Great. I'm poor now, so. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the nominees are Zach, Luigi's Mansion Three. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Dangan Rampa, and then AI the Somnium Files. All right, guys, go on Twitter and vote for it. It's at New Clan Podcast on Twitter. Yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out for this episode. Um, we're not done yet though, because you wanted to do one for you guys. Uh, let's right? do it next week. <laughs> okay, we'll do another forced entry next w- next week. The poll will probably be up with this episode, so you can vote on both. We'll put it up for a little longer. Um, we'll give it 14 days on that one, if we can. Seven is max, I think. Yeah, seven's max. Okay, we'll do the poll later then. Yeah, so you um, guys, when, when we drop this episode, you got like three days to go vote. Yeah. I'm sure if people see the Twitter, though, too, like get the alert. That too, yeah. They, a lot of people vote beforehand. But they last time it was rigged against uh, Hooters Road Trip. Uh-huh. So I was the man who yeah, put sure. the poll out for one day, stupidly. And the election was rigged. I've done that a million times because I used to put the polls. Yeah, they found a bunch of they found a bunch of votes for, for SpongeBob overnight. No, it was crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. fucking SpongeBob. cheaters. All right, guys. I did Revenge, the, I Revenge of the Sith. Was mine. You guys know you're on mic, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we know. <laughs> Having a little side pocket conversation. Yeah, <laughs> I know what I'm about. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, guys. Until next time. Live always in the nude. Suck my engage. Walk with your. Gun safety guy held high. Play it safe, folks. Fuck off. Yeah!